I am very conflicted about this location of 800 degrees. While the food's still rather good contrary to the review I'm giving it, the staff can't seem to get the orders right, ever. This has been happening over the last year or so in the past five times we visited. Our orders went awry during dine-in and or take-out. Our takeout pepperoni pizza last night morphed into red bell peppers even though the printout clearly said, pepperoni, something we discovered when we got home. Asterisk 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 management really needs to be aware of this and improve its staffing. Like John W., we've really seen a marked decline in greeting, quality of food, proper preparation, and checkout during the past year. What happened? Never again. If I could give 800 degrees a zero, I would. For some reason, they cannot properly fill orders, dine in or take out. Since writing my last review, they have failed to get it right seven consecutive times. Salads are missing key ingredients, pizzas are without toppings, etc. Completely unacceptable, we will never frequent 800 degrees again. This was my first time trying this place. The food was nasty and pricey and the customer service and made me want to never come back. Before I get stated, I have to say that this used to be my absolute favorite pizza in LA. It was a combination of fresh ingredients, great dough, and fair pricing. Now, here's my take on my latest dining experience Monday night. Ingredients. The mozzarella isn't all fresh anymore. They offer a mix of fresh and shredded cheese. I always get smoked provolone as a topping. It adds an extra smokiness and tang to the pizza that I can't get enough of. However, when I asked for some smoked provolone, the girl at the counter gave me less than a sprinkle. I had to ask for more and got the stink eye for it. It used to be an automatic handful of cheese. Pretty stingy if you ask me. Service. I appreciate the fact that they now bring the pizza to your table. What I don't appreciate is that you don't get an itemized receipt. You can get a receipt emailed to you, but only once you paid. I don't know if I paid for two toppings after requesting more cheese. What matters most? Taste. Now, onto the taste. The dough isn't as light and fluffy as it used to be, especially on the crust. The pizza overall tasted good as long as it was hot. As soon as it cooled down, the cheese became plastic Why? That's what happens when you dilute the quality of the ingredients and use shredded cheese. I'm mostly posting to voice my discontent that my favorite pizza is gone. My theory is that this place is under some new management and they're trying to make some extra profit by cutting a few corners. That's too bad because I'm not likely to come back anytime soon. Final note. Two stars because it's defined by Yelp. Meh. I've experienced better. I was so disappointed by this restaurant. The food is good but the service was terrible. Every single employee was high and it took us 20 minutes to get our food at a fast casual restaurant. I will not be back. Just the fact that after I nicely mentioned to the staff that my pizza was not properly cooked and suggested that please does not happen again she said okay without any further comment. Is sad to experience this at such chain of restaurants. I asked myself why did I ever bother to come here and tip them. The worst customer service experience ever. Absolutely ruined my sister's birthday dinner. Francisco, the manager, is completely untrustworthy. I would give them zero stars if I could. I have never been so upset and disappointed. I'm in town from Atlanta to celebrate my sister's birthday. We are all staying at a hotel in Westwood. My sister loves 800 degrees from her time in Santa Monica. We ordered five pizzas through Uber Eats. The driver shows up with only two pizzas. She said that she'll come back with our correct order. 20 minutes later our order is cancelled without notification. I called 800 degrees and they say that our pizzas are still there. I asked if they are going to deliver them since it's been more than an hour and a half, and we are all hungry. They put me on the phone with Francisco, the manager. I explained that we are celebrating my sister's birthday and want to know whether or not they are going to deliver the pizzas or make accommodations for us. He said that they would deliver the pizzas and make a price adjustment because it had been more than an hour and a half since we placed the order. He said that he was going to call Uber Eats, and he would call me back. He never called me back. I called him back after 20 minutes, and they placed me a hold for 10 minutes. I just gave up. Thanks for ruining my sister's birthday party and for being the worst restaurant manager in LA, Francisco. Buyer beware. Awful customer service. This place was initially fantastic I'm guessing management or ownership changed. Post rebranding design equals downhill from there. This place sure has good pizza it was better before though. Employees don't give a f asterisk asterisk k that the line is out the door, or that the place feels like 800 degrees. Just because pizza goes in the oven doesn't mean everyone has to sit and wait in a stuffy weird smelling large room. The place doesn't feel as clean and the pizza makers are not generous nor friendly. Employees congregating around pizza dough and talking when the line is out the door, oblivious to what they should be doing. Not sure if this disappointment is due to the off-school season or what, but it is not impressive. I have no desire to come here again. Go to a different place. I have been going to 800 degrees for about six years now since my UCLA days. And today was the most terrible experience ever. I asked for my normal margarita with pepperoni. I know the pizza is Neapolitan with only a little cheese, but tonight's pizza was just awful. There was barely any cheese or pepperoni. It was pretty gross. Yeah, they are definitely in decline from when I first started going to their establishment. What happened to 800 degrees? We used to love eating there but there has been a serious change in staff and training for the worse. We stood in front of the cashier for 5 minutes I timed it without being acknowledged. The cashier was working on the computer and talking to other employees as they walked by complaining about how this person better have my money. No eye contact whatsoever, even after I cleared throat and said hi.
not to mention the place was filthy. The condiment bar was empty and in need of a cleaning, the napkin dispenser had no napkins, and the tables were not clear of dirty dishes. They were also not busy at all so that is not an excuse. I'd really like to see 800 degrees turn it around. I hope they can. I have been coming to this pizzeria since 2012. The place has been physically remodeled, but the staff and their customer service has gone downhill. Quite frankly, the staff lacks in professional customer service skills, let alone basic social skills. Most of them seem indifferent about serving you, uneducated in the manner in which they conduct themselves and non-interest in cleanliness and hygiene. The woman at the cash register had dirty fingernails and the personality of a wet blanket. The food remains close to its original form, but the cleanliness is lacking. I will not be coming back here. Completely disappointed in this place. Ugh. Worst pizza I've had in a long, long time. The other casual pizza spots around Blaze, Pyology are so much better. This pizza was inedible, salty, sour, and soggy. I ate one slice and will throw the rest out had it delivered via DoorDash within 10 minutes after it was made. Blaze Pizza still holds up the next day. Very sad as I was treating myself to a sneaky pizza and now I have no sneaky delicious pizza. One additional star for the hummus and pita I ordered on the side it was edible, which made it taste divine after that pizza, and I'm hungry. Edit, I made a second piece of pita with hummus immediately after posting this review and, no it's gross too. Additional star revoked. Pizza here is decent. Especially if you like thin crust. But the service is unbelievably awful. I'm sitting here on a quiet Sunday with very few patrons and the line to get a pizza is at least 45 minutes to order. All the tables are dirty. The fountain soda is broken and nobody around to fix it. This place should be shut down. It's gross in here. Miserably understaffed and the staff don't care about the place. The food is great. I would give four stars but it smells so bad in the restaurant, especially near the soda fountain, I lost my appetite and couldn't enjoy the pizza. I'm convinced some poor creature died in the restaurant and no one has found the body yet. The smell seems to be focused near the soda fountain so when someone uses the swing doors nearby, the rest of the restaurant gets torturous wafts of it blown away. I've eaten there twice, two months apart, and the odor was there both times. We ate outside. Horrible customer service, pizza was not fully cooked. Took a while but eventually got our money back. If you like being screwed over by buying crappy, overpriced food this is the place to go. Horrible. Apparently tonight was their second night being reopened. Core pizza items remain unchanged. But, they've added a bunch of dumb SH, tea like rotisserie chicken and power bowls. Clearly marketing to their Westwood customer base for lunch. Okay, I get but if you're going to do that, you better still make a damn good pizza, and you didn't. You failed miserably. First red flag was the sign at the beginning of the order line saying order with the cashier. So now you don't get to order your pie with the guy making it, to make sure it's just the way you want it. You have to order it with a cashier that takes forever typing in all the modifiers, cause that's the way people want it, modified to their liking. I'll just pause here and say I'm not one of those jerks who wants apples, pecans, shrimp and basil on a pizza. All I ordered was a margarita with extra cheese and ham well done. They forgot the extra cheese, the ham and didn't cook it well done. How hard is it to cook that pizza? Yet the annoying and clearly frustrated Italian guy running expo which is now basically in line with customers shrugged my order off as commonplace and never offered to fix it, just said sorry. Well, sorry is what 800 degrees has devolved to. I can't believe that a Westwood staple that made one of the best pies in the city, closed, then reopened with such an awful showing. Clearly there is a backstory behind all this with management and the owners, property owners etc. But opening back up like this, serving absolutely awful food is just a joke. I give them a month before closing down again. Spend a few extra bucks and walk around the corner to La Monica's for one of the best pies in LA. That's cooked properly. You'll thank me later. Not a good experience for us. I ordered 800 degrees via Uber Eats. They changed my food is being prepared slash delivery window seven times, and after an hour delay I called them, 800 degrees apologized and said it's been a busy day and they are running behind. Took another 35 minutes to get the order out, but then our driver never showed up. I know that's not 800 degrees fault, but it shouldn't take a business like 800 degrees an hour and 20 minutes to get our order made, so odd. My best advice based upon my experience from them, do not order delivery from this place, it won't end well. Pizza is good, but there is something seriously wrong with the organization of this place. It's Sunday night, absolutely no line, but a bunch of customers waiting 45 minutes for their pizza. Every time we ask about our pizza they say, um I don't know, let me check. No one knows where our pizzas are. What? And we are not the only ones. A lot of the customers are waiting, staff is getting frustrated, orders are incorrect, managers are handing out 10% off coupons to the six customers there, the reviewer Rob S must have been there the same night. I think they are getting a ton of orders from Uber Eats because I really can't figure out why there is so much confusion and waiting. One of the least organized places I've ever seen. Too many staff, not enough brains. And on a sleepy Sunday night of all times.
I used to love this place, but I'm not happy at all with the new ownership. They no longer let you customize your order, so I ended up with a pizza with too much cheese, and it was burnt. The atmosphere was unfriendly and disjointed. Next time, I'll head to another pizza chain, or the Santa Monica location. I love that they are back in business in Westwood, but I had a very negative experience today. I came in to order something to go, one of their new power bowls. Placed my order, paid, and then waited, and waited, and waited. I saw tons of pizzas and salads flying off their counters. At some point, someone asked if I had already ordered, what it was I ordered, and the name for my order. They seemed to be working things out, they weren't on top of the orders. Tons of people behind me with to-go orders, but no one had theirs ready. I saw some to-go orders on the counter, but the guy behind the counter hadn't been checking the names on those orders. I walked up and politely asked if that was my power ball to go. He gave me a look like he was tired, and did some motion with his hands and said, I'm still working on getting these out, or something to that extent. Yes, I get it, you're trying to get all those hot pizzas out and all those poor salads that have been sitting there since I got there, but I was waiting 15 minutes, and I saw a to-go order sitting there for 5 minutes while no one even cared to check if it was someone's order. He then told me, here, you can take a look at the receipt and see if it's yours. Thanks, buddy, but that's your job. In the amount of time you pushed the bowl towards me and told me that, you could have asked my name and read the receipt yourself. Don't think I'll be back again, also, the power bowl was mediocre at best. My first time here I actually swooned. Angry Bee Pizza and Yum, Spicy Sweet Dewish. Returned last weekend, no Angry Bee Boo. I got Dapio plus honey. I was sad. Things have changed. Sorry this place is not what it was. A mixed review. The pizza was fine, it's the reopened organic fixation that was solely lacking in planning. Walking in you view the offerings, but no one will tell you you have to go all the way into the back to order. And of course there's no sign indicating this. So now you're with the cashier, but there are no menus to help you along. I'm informed that six feet behind me are some menus. The cashier informed me things have changed with the reopening. They don't give you a receipt when you charge your meal, and I've never liked leaving the tip before I get my meal. At least the pizza was good. Very happy 800 is back. Sign out front is different and hard to see. Last Sunday I was the only customer for about 20 minutes until other people started filing in. Poor woman taking our order was doing everything, taking the order, pouring the drinks including beer tap and wine and also running orders to the table while others waited to order. My pizza was delivered cold. Sent it back and they reheated but it was completely soggy underneath. The flavor was great but I did not eat it all because the bottom crust was soggy and gross. Note to management, get more help, or use your resources better, so the pizza can be delivered hot. Not a good day at 800. Remodel has inefficient line coordination. New management doesn't seem familiar with pizza. I asked for provolone cheese and did not receive provolone cheese. When mentioned to the restaurant glasses homie he said yes there is you can see it. I get provolone every time I come to this restaurant and assuredly there was no provolone. Disappointed. Big said. I never write reviews, but this was the worst restaurant experience I've probably ever had. After waiting for 30 minutes for my food, I went to the front to see if there was a time estimate. The cashier looked around and found my pizza alone on top of the oven, cold. Not sure how that happens when the restaurant was empty. My bottled drink was also flat. Not surprised they went out of business for a while. We used to come here about once a week before the remodel and have been twice since they reopened and sadly, this location has gone way downhill and I am in no rush to return. Both times since the remodel, our orders were wrong and we ordered straight from the menu with no substitutions. Had to send food back, food took way too long, no ice and soda machine, bad customer service. They also changed the gluten-free crust and it is not as good now. The menu changed slightly as well. Such a bummer but I'll pass on this place now. Do not get delivery. I live 1.2 miles from restaurant. Pizza had good flavor but, cold soggy mess delivered to me. I couldn't eat it. It was thrown out after one bite. Worst experience ever. Maria the girl with the red hair has no customer service skills. Waited 30 plus minutes. This is pizza made for people by people who have never eaten a pizza. They can't cut a slice the right way. I long for the days of the original 800 degree but considering they closed, maybe that model wasn't sustainable. I don't understand though how they reinvented themselves by lowering the oven temp, hiring less employees and training them as if this is a takeout joint. Just nasty all around. This branch doesn't follow the 800 degree rules per its manger because it's franchised. Unfortunately you will experience poor management and low quality services which probably affect the I-800D reputation. For example you cannot select your pizza ingredients anymore. Almost nobody during my visit eat more than half of pizza. I just ordered one how are you and one pepperoni pizza bar of the toppings they only put like three salami and pepperoni and you had to pay what a dollar extra for toppings and we added peppers and a pineapple as well but they charge us for a dollar each. I basically created this Yelp account due to how terrible my experience was yesterday at this location. I have had 800 degrees from four locations at least 100 times and like to bring friends from out of town when they visit. They changed the ordering process so you now do it at the register. Which takes away half the reason why this place is even special or different in the first place than other pizza places. Since it has a different order setup I forgot how I like to add extra sauce, fresh oregano a lot of chilies etc but that was on me. That's a small nuisance but not the reason for this review. We only chose to go because we thought it would be a quick option for a great meal. We walked in and there was no line and we were able to order ASAP. After over 20 minutes we still had no food. It was over 25 minutes after ordering my friend's meal came out. He ordered triple meat on his. It came with 1.2 meat tops and he paid all the money for triple. 
After 30 minutes I went and asked where my pie was and it finally came out. I ordered double meat and it did not even have half of a portion and the guy at the register agreed 100%. At least he gave me that pie to snack on while they remade my pie to almost exact specifications. The whole process ended up taking over an hour. The guy at the register did a great job and his service was the only redeeming part of this trip. The pie I received the first time was similar to when I order it from any 800 degrees for delivery. You ask for double meat and you're lucky to even get half a portion so be prepared for that if you order online, that's a common complaint amongst friends and co-workers. I will stick to Santa Monica location for now. I'm in and out of there typically in under 30 and satisfied with my pie. I hope this review helps management address the issues. Buffalo milk is the only real raw milk with basically no lactose. No buffalo mozzarella? You lost dollar dollar dollar. New owner, new costly mistake. Trying to save money? You just lost two types of customers. One, we people from Italy. Two, all your lactose intolerant, non-vegan customers who want a non-lactose milk instead of a flavorless vegan cheese imitation. Bad business move sir. P.S. Please let me know when you realize you made a mistake and get the buffalo mozzarella again. I'll be glad to spend my money there again and let people know that the very ingredient that made you different is back. I don't often leave reviews on Yelp, but this time 800 degrees pizzeria really fell short. The employees didn't communicate well and misplaced my pickup order somehow, no big deal. When I got home, the prosciutto and burrata pizza I ordered had no prosciutto nor burrata. This is the second time I experienced poor service at 800 degrees, and hopefully the last. I've never left a Yelp review for somewhere before, but I have never experienced service like this. The new change in ownership did something to this place, because I used to come here all the time when I was in college. Walked into an empty restaurant, so I expected it to be speedy. 30 minutes later, and my pizza still wasn't ready. First, the cashier didn't understand that discounts can't be added to pizza of the days, so she had to get her manager. Then he came out and took another five minutes to ring me up. I sat down to wait for my pizza, only to see one of the employees asleep on one of the booths. The manager had to come wake him up. All the while I was just waiting for my one pizza. I will say the manager did give me a coupon card afterwards, but, not grade 800. Skip it, 25 minutes for mine and everyone else's pizza in the place, what happened used to be fast, sorry you lost good cuz. $17.50 for the salmon plate. The salmon, I am not exaggerating, is the size of a 3 quarters inch thick business card. So bad. I haven't seen such egregious overcharging in a long time. Will not be back out of principle. I ordered pickup on Postmates towards the end of the lunch rush and showed up 5 minutes after the app said my order was ready. The manager was rude as fuck when I tried asking for the order, then told me I should have picked it up a while ago and it was thrown out. I felt super uncomfortable waiting for the order to be remade, finally got it and ran back to my office. It's not even the right order. Why did I just put myself through that? Just a word of warning, ordered from here by a Postmates for pickup A the second time the first was smooth sailing, this time, we received a random assortment of wrong items. We were charged for more expensive items a large salad, creamy burrata appetizer but given smaller ones. We also ordered dessert items a cookie and lemon bar which were completely omitted from our order we were charged however. When we tried to explain this, the response from Josh at 800 degrees was that the Postmates menu is somehow different. He acted like it was our fault somehow for you know, selecting them off of Postmates or something. Anywho, buyer beware. I've been coming to this 800 degrees for a while now and all I have to say is things have gone from bad to worse. I will now only be going to the Santa Monica due to the underwhelming service I have received at this location. Recently this location has undergone new ownership. When they reopened their doors the staff was still working out the kinks and I was understanding. However, months later and there has still been no improvement. I recently came in for a pizza and waited 15 minutes at the counter for someone to take my order. Once they finally took my order there was no apology for the wait, no compensation, and when I asked for ranch they informed me that they now charge due to the new owner's policies. I went in one last time and now instead of ordering from the counter you must order off of an iPad. They have taken away any customer interaction with the staff and the staff are still messing around. Tables are dirty. Staff is rude. Terrible customer service. Only perk is the pizza. I will only be attending the Santa Monica location from here on out. This is very close to my work. We decided to get to go dinner that we could pick up after work and when we came to pick it up, the food was not ready and they said that someone already picked up our order. What a lousy way to run a food business. How can someone pick up our food? How can they give that away to someone else? They just gave it away without verifying. Geez. So they quickly put together our order. Good thing we checked. Of course, they prepped it incorrectly. Ding. 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 What a terrible experience. What a terrible pizza place. We are never coming back to this place. No wonder it is always empty when I pass by this place. 800 idiots. Terrible people. Liars. Unprofessional. Gross pizza. Lied to me about the wait time and picking up an order. Then when I came in, oh, sorry sir. We didn't make it. Don't know who told you on the phone. Never coming back here again. Terrible service. New management. The system is not convenient anymore. Now you create an order yourself through one one yes, one tablet. The line to order is humongous. Also, you'll wait quite a while to get your pizza since one pizzaiolo is making all the store orders, online orders, and to-go orders. My girlfriend ordered a burrata and prosciutto pizza and her pizza came without burrata or prosciutto. Then they took it back and added the prosciutto but still no burrata. 
Once again, we let them know there is still no burrata, and the waitress came back coddling the burrata in her hand and plopped it in the center of the pizza. Thank God she was wearing gloves. The pizza is not as good as before, I don't know if it's the ingredients or the dough or just everything. We used to frequent this place at least once a week, but unfortunately we won't be returning. I am appalled at the changes W slash new management. The old way was better. You'd walk in, have a friendly person immediately start making your pizza in front of you. You could easily customize and specify. Now you either order at a tablet kiosk confusing and only one or wait in a long line. The pizza is still good, but they use a thinner crust now. The pies have mysteriously gotten smaller. You are paying more for less. I decided to try one of their dinner plates also stupid I know. You order pizza at a pizza place. First off, they were out of chicken which is insane considering half their menu is chicken. But I tried the salmon. $17.50 $19 with tax for a tiny sliver, maybe 4 ounces, of overcooked tasteless salmon. The sides vegetables were burnt and dry. Basically daylight robbery, the salmon was ridiculously cheap. To add insult to injury, I had a weird headache and dizziness after eating the dinner plate. I can't necessarily blame this place but that's the only odd thing I ate all day. Finally, they got rid of little niceties like toothpicks and lemon and sugar for your water. The whole vibe is just different now. The staff seemed disgruntled and out of it. I will say the manager was trying his best, but circumstances were too much to overcome. So yes, the pizza is still the same old pizza just with a thinner crust, but there's other options now that are far better run. What's happened to 800 degrees? I was super psyched when they reopened because they had porchetta on the menu. It's since disappeared which is no surprise, but they now moved from ordering at the cashier which was worse than having your pizza made as you went through the line to entering your own order on an iPad. Ordering this way took way longer. This was the first bad sign. Our pizzas arrived, but they tasted different. My daughter said that the crust had changed. My pizza looked okay, but my husband's pizza came out a bit askew with the toppings concentrated in one area, instead of being evenly distributed. Yes, I know, first world problems. The expo server looked miserable. You could feel it coming off her in waves. I can understand if it was late at night, but it was at lunchtime and the restaurant was not busy. My husband didn't even want to ask her for utensils. I saw the owner walk in and sit down at one of the tables. He didn't bother checking on any of the customers to see how they were doing. At least the guy making the pizza crusts up front greeted us with a smile. That's the one good thing I can say. Our pizzas weren't burned either, which is another. Kiosk ordering can seem like a good idea, but it's not. Customer in front of me struggled with ordering. And while it was obvious, it was over his head, staff did little to convince him to order the old-fashioned way. He asked questions to any staff nearby every minute, as he just wasn't confident with it. Ten minutes on kiosk tells you, it was not a good use of technology. Kiosk was confusing and limiting with topping options in no particular order among other problems. Pizza took 15 minutes to get, far slower than other build-your-own pizza places. It was cold in the middle, toppings of pepperoni, and ham were bland and non-descriptive. Not a place to come back to. Wow, this place is bad. The food was fine, but it took way too long, and the cashier was wandering around on his phone the whole time while I waited for my salad for half an hour. When I asked about it, he made it in less than two minutes. Definitely not coming back. Terribly slow. There was no one in here today, and I had to wait 25 minutes for a salad. The worst part was I saw it on the counter for about 10 minutes before it was even brought to me. My friend also got a salad and had to wait even longer, because she ordered a burrata and they wanted to bring them out at the same time. Also, the burrata came with one piece of bread for a whole plate of things. My guess is it's a bunch of UCLA students who don't really care about the job, but it really leads to a bad experience. I saw about half the staff on their phones while I was waiting for my order as well. I cannot recommend this place based on their service. The food was also subpar. This location is open for business again. I am not sure why, but it was closed for a while. The food is interesting at best. Fresh pizza is their specialty and I would have to say the only thing I would ever order there. Their sandwiches are not anything to write about. There are plenty of other options for sandwiches around the area. The staff member in the front looked unhappy working there and gave me attitude. I felt not welcomed there. Last but not least when I was there, there were only two other people dining. Lunch time. From what I remember this place used to be busy. We've been in here twice over the last two months. The first time we just walked out after waiting by the counter and not being helped. I called the manager and he said you need to walk down to the kiosk or register to order. I said you might want to tell your staff who were staring at us for 10 minutes just talking amongst themselves to let customers know that. Not once did they greet us or offer any insight on how slash where to order. Today we tried to order at the kiosk but it's not intuitive if you want to make any adjustments to a specialty pie. Of course, in true 800 degree fashion, there are plenty of workers behind the counter talking amongst themselves, none of them offering any sort of greeting or help. We ditched the kiosk and went to the register instead. The whole ordering process is non-intuitive and annoying, especially considering it differs from the other 800 degree locations we've been to. On top of the poor service, seating is limited, not because the restaurant is full but because most of the tables haven't been bussed or cleaned since the previous customer sat there. Go to SM location instead if you're craving the pizza. I ordered a POTD margarita topped with chicken and red onions and had food poisoning. Five hours after I ate the pot, I started feeling really sick to my stomach and ended up being sick all night. I'll spare you the details. Yesterday, I was still feeling the aftermath of the prior night. Be aware. I remember this place fondly from a few years ago. It was crowded, delicious, worth the wait. 
Tonight, however, it was totally meh. The pizza sat up on the counter for God knows how long, even though we had a number on our table presumably for someone to deliver it when it was ready. So, it already started off decidedly not 800 degrees. My daughter's Bianca pizza with pepperoni was soggy and greasy. My prosciutto and burrata was cold and lacked flavor. My Pinot Noir was lackluster and wore not worth the $12 they charge. The whole experience was disappointing, and very not worth the $51 I spent. I'll be surprised if it lasts much longer. Too bad it used to be yummy. Pretty much the height of incompetence here. I gave this place a second shot tonight, and I honestly regret giving them my money. We ordered for pickup, waiting until someone talked to us, they asked the name for the order. Then they proceeded to keep doing new orders, then looked back at me after a few minutes, and asked for the name again. Same thing happened. Then they asked for the name a third time, and when I said it said they didn't have any orders for us. I looked over at their monitor and said it's that one right there. Oh, they said. Then handed me a pizza, and didn't say thank you or sorry or anything. My order was for two pizzas, so I said there are supposed to be two. She then hands me the second. No sorry no thank you for coming, just all around terrible. Everyone makes mistakes, but the lack of acknowledgement was shocking. Also just got home and the order is wrong. What happened to this place? The cashier did not know how to make change. We asked for no garlic on our Bianca, it came with garlic. We asked for nothing but mushrooms, it came with arugula. We got a chopped salad that had old lettuce in it, which we separated out and took up to the counter to talk to the manager, who turns out was the cashier who didn't know how to make change. He said he was going to notify the owner, somehow I feel that would never happen, the only good thing we could say about this experience we had was that the crust was better than it was prior to the changes they made to this restaurant, really difficult to see a good restaurant take a turn for the worse.